to go. Pogo got an absolute flying start. Hung right, though, slightly out of the gate. Soon corrected. Enscheiden's driven right up there. And on the wide outside, Happy powers away well. Cutting across now together with Naval Crown. They both bounced, really bounced from their wide draws and are now able to move to the front. He's done so well. Naval Crown's got to the lead, if a little keen. Pogo followed them by Happy Power. They remain prominent. Third Kingdom's in fourth place as they race towards the first bend. Masabi's towards the inside. Songline and Casa Creed together with Cold Front all mass up in behind them. Off the pace at the moment is Thunder Moon. So too is Happy Romance on the inside. Running rail behind Casa Creed is Enscheiden. A little bit outpaced and short of room. Laura Sion now makes some progress. Rohan will have to come from way, way off the pace as they now streak into the home straight and Naval Crown taking up a narrow advantage here from Pogo in second place. They straighten inside the final two furlongs. Naval Crown from Pogo. After these, we've got Happy Romance trying to stay on together with Happy Power. Down the outside, Song Line for Japan getting involved. Casa Creed coming home strongly as well from off the pace. It's all change late. Happy Romance joined by Song Line. Casa Creed trying to join in with them as well. Song Line in the middle of the three goes to the line. Song Line for Japan again. Casa Creed, oh, another three strides. Would have got there, but not tonight. Happy Romance ran a fantastic race in behind those. Lord Asayan came further back in the field. Rohan passed quite a few. So too did Horoscope from the back end of the field. But Song Line is home for Christophe Lemaire, who won with authority and has won again here much more narrowly. Song Line by a neck or so. It does look from that as though Casa Creed may well have got second. But of course, we can't see Happy Romance's head over on the far side. What a race she ran. They were clear of Laura Tsai on this side and Pogo on the far side. Then Happy Power six, Rohan seventh in eighth place was Cold Front. Further back, Masabi, they were followed by Horoscope. And then Naval Crown, who weakened right out of it, Enscheiden. We didn't see anything at all from Enscheiden tonight. And Third Kingdom also right at the back end of the field. And you feel there could be more to come, but it's Japan again. Song line, Christophe Lemaire's night so far. Le Maire at the double. It's an intercontinental trifecta here in the 1351. Japan beats Great Britain and the United States of America, but no doubt those familiar silks of Sunday Racing Company Limited are in front. And Songline had the toughness, had the stamina, had the tenacity, thread the eye of a needle, and got there to win on the line. Another finely judged ride. You know they were going at honest pace early on when you see the horses that were setting that pace, Pogo and Naval Crown, they backed up pretty readily. And Songline, while maybe she doesn't have the biggest turn of foot, I like that she was involved. She was relatively close, and that stamina did come into play. I thought it really worked out for her. Casa Creed, unfortunate for the Americans. I thought it was an incredible run down the center of the lane, and, and as John Hunt alluded to, maybe another, another jump may have gotten up in time. I think he was just a little bit behind Songline as well. His just natural placement early wasn't as close as Songline's was, and he was waiting for a hole. If you saw, he was just buried in between horses. When watch the replay, you can see his bright pink silks. He had to wait for that when we were talking about moving early. He wasn't able to do that, whereas Songline got a little bit better trip. And Matt, at least this shows us that uh, you can win from on the pace or off the pace. They, they love racing in Japan, you know, in case you hadn't gathered. <laughs> they, they're doing quite well, aren't they? Talk about a run for the Japanese contingent over the past what let's say three, three to four months, months. Mm -hmm. i mean they, they really all the horses are firing on the biggest stages internationally and the scary thing is they still have a number of of big horses left to come tonight tremendous ride again from christophe lemaire doing it in different fashion this time casa creed louis sires for bill mott in second bill will re be responsible for art collector in the saudi cup later and these silks of sunday racing you think they've won so many big races across the globe well they'd all come alike but not a bit of it they loved every minute of it i'm sure the jockey did too he's with tom again he is i bet he absolutely loved that two in two well done christophe yeah thank you very much very glad very happy for Japanese team. Once again, it shows that uh, Japanese horses are very strong. And uh, I'm very glad today that she could uh, find her form again. Uh, we had a good trip and uh, she used her turn of foot. At the end, she holds on uh, at the finish line. Very happy. Were you at all worried about the distance for her back in distance? No, not at all, because uh, she's won over several for long in Japan in Chukyu Racecourse, who looks like uh, a little bit Riyadh, 
with a short turn and a long straight. So I knew she would be comfortable here. And the, the, the win two races on, on the turf, we know Japan have had great success on the dirt out here, but it just shows the, the versatility all the, the, the Japanese team have. Yeah, of course, they are almighty. You know, we have uh, races over on the dirt, on the turf, and uh, with a lot of good horses, with good pedigrees, American pedigrees. So they can fit uh, everywhere. Okay, good luck in the next. Thank you. Wow, Christophe Lemaire, what a, what a night it's becoming for him. Already um, an extremely wealthy rider, has won some of Japan's biggest races, Japan Cup multiple times, been associated with their two great fillies, Gran Allegria and Armandai. And uh, he knows what a good horse is, and he'll be in action again in a few moments' time in the longest race of the day on Stay Foolish, who wouldn't be without a chance either. That horse definitely not without a chance, and especially the way that these Japanese horses have been running. I mean, they brought their A game today. Michelle, what did you think about Naval Crown being sent from the far outside? I, Easy to say in hindsight it didn't work, but I... I I don't think it was a wrong decision, no, given I, the outside draw. I think it was a right decision. I think, really, the horse, when he got to the front there, they had had to ask him a little bit. And when you get a horse in high gear, it's extremely hard, if they're headstrong, to try and bring them back to, like, a manageable pace. And I think that was where he struggled. We will review the race in its entirety in a few moments' time. More success for the Japanese. Songline hitting all the right notes in the 1351 Cup and turning away intercontinental foes under that man, Le Maire. Right back with you.